Welcome to Politics NY with Sky Behind the Curtain, where we go behind the scenes and speak with a bunch of different types of industry stakeholders about government and politics. And we speak with different people who are running for office. And right now I'm with Tom Kniff. He's running to be the next Manhattan district attorney as a Republican. So Alvin Bragg is on the ballot as a Democrat. And right now we're gonna meet Tom Kniff and find out why we should vote for him in November. So welcome. Thanks so much for having me. It's good to be on with you, Sky. Yes, Tom, great to have you here. So tell us about your background and why do you wanna be the next Manhattan DA? Sure, well, I, as far as background goes, um, I, I very early in my career, I was an assistant district attorney. Um, so I was on the prosecution side. Um, I also served uh, as a Army JAG officer, which is a military attorney uh, in, in Iraq. I'm an Iraq war veteran. Um, upon returning from my service in Iraq in 2005, I founded a criminal defense law firm with a fellow veteran. Um, and I've really been practicing law here in New York ever since. Um, so being on both sides of the criminal justice system, um, I think that gives me a fairly unique perspective, also having been on the military and civilian side. Uh, of criminal justice uh, to understand what works and what doesn't. What really motivated me to get involved in this race is, you know, having been uh, in New York City for so long and I practiced law here, having lived here, um, really being dismayed at the, the, the direction that I think the city is going in with the rise of crime and what I think is some really wrongheaded uh, criminal justice policies that my opponent uh, not only supports, but wants to double down on. So is there anything specific that is at the top of your ticket as far as what you would change right away? Well, th there's a few things. And one of the things that I, that I speak a lot about is bail reform. Um, now, as a district attorney, I'm not a legislature. I'm not a legislator. It's, it's an operational office. We don't make law. But of course, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office is among the, 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 among the most powerful, if not the most powerful, prosecutor's offices in the country. Uh, if I was elected here in Manhattan on a uh, platform that really uh, speaks about the ills of bail reform, I think that would give me a very strong mandate to lobby the legislature to try to get that law changed, because I think that is really probably the most disastrous single law that we've seen in recent history, uh, depriving judges of the ability to hold dangerous people in jail when necessary, really makes it impossible for us, for the police to do their job, makes it impossible for us to get control over the city. So that, 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 that's a major part of, of, of my platform, if you will. So right now, it seems like we're in like a big Democratic swing, especially in New York City and in Manhattan. So what would it take, Tom? What's your path to victory to win this race in November? I think my path to victory, frankly, Sky, is common sense. Um, you know, I know I, I understand the, the disparity in voter registration. A lot of people call that to my attention. It's a fair point. Um, you know, but, but since I've gotten into this race, I, I've been all over the city campaigning. This morning, I, I, I was up in Harlem. Um, I've been to the, the east side, I've been to the upper west side, I've been to the most traditionally most democratic, most liberal areas, and, and almost unanimously when I, when I speak with voters on the street, uh, the few things they tell me, they said, look, you know, we don't care who's a Republican, who's a Democrat in a local race that really is only about crime. So I, I am running to be the chief law enforcement officer in Manhattan. Um, that's, what the, that's what the district attorney is. Uh, I have no opinion on national issues. You're not going to hear me talking about taxes. You're not going to hear me talking about abortion. You're not going to hear me talking about immigration, except perhaps maybe uh, if it directly correlates with the uh, with the criminal justice system. I'm just here to try to be a vehicle to restore public safety in the city. And when, when voters hear that message, um, they're not only accepting, uh, they're embracing of it. So I don't think the voters are the issue here. Reaching them is a little more difficult because as a GOP candidate, of course, you don't have uh, the institutional resources or the money that, that comes with the Democratic machine. But if I can reach the voters, I don't think I, I don't think that there will be many that wouldn't be willing to cross over and vote for me. It sounds like you have a plain and simple message. So hopefully this video can get to enough people to sort of get them on your team. <laughs> I hope so, too. <laughs> Tom, now tell us something fun or interesting about yourself that maybe people don't know. Uh, fun or interesting about myself? Well, you didn't tell me that question was coming. Um, I guess I should have an answer at the ready. Um, uh, fun or interesting? I, I am a, uh, a, a avid uh, ice hockey enthusiast. Enthusiast. I've been playing my whole life. I still play uh, 
adult league hockey um, here in Manhattan at Chelsea Piers. Um, so there's that. Um, I enjoy uh, I'm a uh, amateur writer, I suppose uh, would be the right term. I'm currently, I think, on the last chapter of a novel that I've been writing for way too long. It's a political thriller, so hopefully that will, uh, uh, along with, uh, that'll help get my name out if it's successful and it's picked up. Um, I'm a father and I have four, uh, I'm a father of four girls. Wow, four girls, so great. Yep. See, nice to get to know you. Tom Kenneth, the Republican candidate for Manhattan DA, good luck to you and we'll see you out there. Thanks so much, Scott.